is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2023 kia sportage courtesy of fred beans kia in mechanicsburg pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below as we are in this one today because this has been completely redesigned for the 2023 model year it's a very unique look very nice exterior design i love the exterior remodel because i think it looks dang good but anyways in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are a few different trim levels available for the 2023 sportage first one being the lx being the one we have today actually starting at twenty seven thousand two hundred five dollars then there is the ex for twenty nine thousand two hundred five dollars X line for $32,005 and then the SX for $32,705. And by the way, that X line comes standard with all wheel drive. All those other prices were standard with front wheel drive, but you can add all wheel drive for an additional $1,800 then if you wanted to. But powering the beast is going to be a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder, putting out 187 horsepower, 178 pound feet of torque. Again, sent to front wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic. And PG numbers are going to come in at approximately 22 in the city, 30 on the highway for the front wheel drive, 22 city, 28 then on the highway for the all wheel drive, taking regular unleaded fuel. One more thing I wanted to note though, before we do any kind of fun acceleration test is there is going to be both hybrid and plug in hybrid options available later down the line later this year actually and that's going to be powered by a 1.6 liter turbo four cylinder with an electric motor putting out approximately 226 horsepower but that model is not out yet so we're not going to be reviewing that one today so i did just want to make note of that in case you wanted to hold out for 40 miles per gallon in that one but now having mentioned all of that there is actually a drive mode circular dial directly behind the shifter that's going to give you normal sport smart and snow adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity quite Quite substantially as well so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the acceleration here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2023 kia sportage here up to speed all right in three two one go it's not bad Definitely not the quickest thing in the world, but you're not gonna have any issues merging onto the highway either. And uh, this sport mode definitely helps out. You can immediately tell the difference. It's holding the RPMs at a much higher level when you have it in that sport mode. So if you do have to merge onto the highway, just flick into the sport mode real quick and you're not gonna have any issues there. Another cool thing, I don't think I even mentioned it, is the gauges change colors when you put it in sport mode as well to red. So didn't mention that before. So I wanted to mention that too. And not only that, these headrests are super comfortable. A lot of times when you hit the gas, your head goes back into the headrest and these are some of the most comfortable headrests, even with this being a base model of the Sportage. You don't usually get that in base models. You usually get these hard leatherette kind of headrests, but these are nice. I really like it. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So as expected, you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes coming standard on the Sportage. As far as that braking feel goes, it's actually really nice. It's got a firm feel to it. It didn't expect that. Typically with SUVs, you have a much softer braking feel, but this one feels perfect, quite honestly, especially for what it is. It's an excellent braking feel. I could definitely tell you that. As far as suspension and handling goes, you will get an independent strut type front suspension in the back, independent multi like rear suspension. And as far as ride quality goes, as we are cruising down these back roads here, it's perfectly fine. Honestly, I've never had any real issues with Kia and Hyundai ride quality. So definitely soaking up the road imperfections quite nicely. As far as steering, goes it does adjust pretty substantially depending upon the drive mode that you put it in so i love that because it gives you something for everybody so if you like to have your steering feel put it in that sport driving mode and you're going to get that if you wanted it to loosen up a little bit put it in the comfort mode but having said that even in comfort mode it still feels absolutely perfect. So steering feels 100% on point here in the Sportage. As far as cabin noise goes, when I was on the highway back there, it, you get a little bit, I mean, it's pretty much as expected. It's nothing too crazy, but there is a little bit of road noise that comes into the cabin, but it's nothing that would deter me from buying this. I could say that, so that's perfectly fine. As far as visibility goes, I could see 100% move squirrel. I could see 100% perfectly fine out the back. So you're definitely not gonna have any issues there either, but, 
that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our completely redesigned 2023 Kia Sportage. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new completely redesigned 2023 Kia Sportage. I love this redesigned look. This looks so much better, looks so futuristic, and it's like nothing else on the road right now. But anyways, I digress. Let's go ahead and start up front of the Sportage here. Gloss black front grille will come standard with silver accents. There is that new Kia logo on the front hood then as well. Down below, you will actually find some silver skid plates that come standard, and that's gonna be for both the front and the back, actually. To the sides, LED headlights do come standard across the board with LED daytime running lights. Do you get the automatic feature with that as well, along with automatic high beams then as well coming standard for all trim levels a lot of times that'll be an added feature that's optional on other manufacturers but i love that kia put them standard on all trim levels it's definitely pretty nice led fog lights coming with the sx prestige trim level and up and again loving the design of the front end but that pretty much rounds out the front end of the sportage here let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of this one and so to start up top roof rails do come standard on the x line trim level and up rear privacy glass is going to come on all trim levels there is a silver belt line molding if you were to go with the lx or ex trim level so we do indeed have that with us here today but if you were to go with any of the other trim levels you're actually going to get gloss black windows surround so a little bit of a differentiation there raised suspension coming with the x line and x pro so any trim level with an x in it essentially silver trim found on the lower portion of that side profile it definitely looks nice body colored power adjustable side mirrors coming standard they will be heated coming standard for all trim levels across the board as well with led integrated turn signals if you were to go with the ex trim level and up so i can't show that to you guys unfortunately but floating roof line is found towards the back on that c pillar back there then take a look down at the wheel setup it's going to differ pretty substantially amongst the trim levels here 17 inch silver alloys for the LX, 18 inch machine finished alloys for the EX, 19 inch gloss black alloys for the X line, 18 inch matte gray alloys for the SX trim levels, and then 17 inch black alloys with BF Goodrich all terrain tires, kind of the off road tires there for the X Pro trim level. So that about rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, and so, but now since we are around back of this one, rear spoiler with an integrated brake light all the way to the top, just below that rear window wiper, LED tail lights coming standard for all trim levels across the board gotta love that new style kia logo back there as well you do have a little bit of added silver trim on the rear bumper there as well and just below it all i think you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip All right, and so now since we are around to the back of the Sportage, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a power tailgate if you were to go with the X-Line trim level and up. As far as cargo capacity goes, once opened up, that's gonna come in at 39.6 cubic feet behind that second row. If that was not enough space, that second row does fold down, bumping that up to 74.1 cubic feet. That is substantially more than the previous generation. So well done, Kia, for that. There is some cargo lighting back there, of course. There's a 12 volt power outlet. There's a rear cargo cover available grocery bag hooks and if you lift up underneath of that cargo floor you will find a spare tire down there as well but then make your way up to the rear legroom that is coming in at 41.3 inches insanely impressive for rear legroom even in an suv for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had in that second row there rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard rear ventilation then as well and if you were to go with the ex trim level and up you will also get rear usb charging ports back there then as well but then make your way to the front seats manually adjustable cloth seats coming with the lx that's what we have today ex trim level is going to add 10-way power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar and heated front seats then as well for that ex trim level and up syntex upholstery coming with the x line s X and X Pro trims, eight way power adjustable front seat coming with the Prestige trim levels. Ventilated front seats then coming with the X Pro Prestige. As far as seat comfort goes, honestly, it was amazing. And part of the reason is because of the super comfy headrest, like I was mentioning to you guys. So, definitely no issues with the seat comfort, even with our bottom trim level, even with the cloth seating. So, Wonderful seat comfort, I gotta say. Then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped for the EX trim level and up and heated 
for the EX trim level and up. You typically don't find a heated steering wheel on one of the bottom trim levels, so well done Kia yet again, beating out the other manufacturers on that for sure. Then make your way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. In typical Kia fashion, you have all of your buttons located on the side of the key. Lock, of course, being that giant button towards the top. You got unlock and that button to uh, unlock the rear hatch as well, but essentially it is all keyless entry with a push button start if you go with the EX trim level and up. Otherwise, it is going to be a traditional key start. So all I'm going to do here, simply put my foot on the brake and turn the key. And this is one of the best parts now of the new Sportage 12.2 inch digital cage cluster coming standard for every single trim level across the board, even our bottom trim level that we have here today. What's even cooler, why I like digital gauges is because they're pretty customizable. For example, when you change the drive mode, it's going to adjust the color of the gauges up there, which I think is super cool. You can't can't get that with traditional analog gauges that you typically get on bottom trim level. So well done, Kia. You absolutely crushed it there. Also, of course, you have all your basic information, outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty, basically everything else you would expect to find on a digital gauge cluster. Then make our way to overall interior quality, panoramic sunroof for the EX trim level and up, overhead sunglass holder, LED interior lighting for the EX trim level and up. And that EX trim level and up is really where you kind of want to be at, to be quite honest, because wireless phone charger, dual zone climate control, all that is with the EX trim level and up. You will get alloy foot pedals if you were to go with those X Pro trim levels dual cup holders of course found in the middle there and there's a little bit of added storage just behind those cup holders which i kind of thought was pretty cool and a decent amount of space within the center armrest so as far as overall interior quality goes it's finished like i would expect it to be so personally i didn't have any issues but then taking a look at the infotainment screen now eight inch color touchscreen display coming with the lx trim level only so that's what we got here but Again, if you were to go with the EX trim level and up, you will get a 12.3 inch color touchscreen display. Either way, you still get Bluetooth and audio streaming. You still get Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Factory navigation system coming with the SX trim level and up. There is also a quiet mode, which shuts off the rear speakers and limits the front speakers so that if you have children sleeping in the back, they're less likely to wake up. I always find that feature pretty cool. There's a voice recorder as well on that infotainment screen. So if you didn't want to forget something, just record your voice and then you can play back at a later date of course you have your radio information up there as well and so by the way when it comes to the sound systems six speakers for the lx ex and x line and then for the sx trim level and up you will get an eight speaker harman kardon sound system with 400 watts but it's not the one we have today unfortunately since we have the lx trim so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one Hello. It was okay. A decent amount of bass, but we were listening to FM radio. I didn't see any Sirius XM, unfortunately, so couldn't get a full glimpse of the clarity, I guess you could say, because it isn't all that clear on regular radio anyways, but... I will say the base was plenty fine. And so, but the last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Sportage in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so let me start with IIHS top safety pick for the 2022 model year. So the 2023 has not yet been tested at the time of this video. So keep an eye out for that. I would imagine it would be at least that or better. Typically vehicles get better over time, but hasn't yet been tested, but front side side current airbags do come standard in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard here's the fun safety so to speak forward collision warning with car pedestrian and cyclist detection lane following assist lane keep assist lane departure warning driver attention warning with leading vehicle departure alert rear parking sensors then as well every trim is going to get that stuff that's pretty cool then if you were to go with the ex trim level and up as always you will get a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert then as well so overall when it comes to my final thoughts i really like this one if i'm being honest love the unique redesign you guys know i love different this looks like nothing else on the road right now so that is amazing in my personal opinion insanely comfortable headrests like i've said some of the most comfortable headrests i've experienced outside of the pillows that you typically find in mercedes or maybach full digital gauges coming standard is absolutely wonderful as well i think the only other vehicle that puts a standard on all trim levels that i can think of is the volkswagen taos but that's really all i can think of 
So that's excellent that Kia does that. You also get America's best warranty being five years, 60,000 miles, bumper to bumper, 10 years, 100,000 miles on the powertrain. So you cannot beat that here in the US at least. And of course, it's much larger than the previous generation as well. So a lot more bang for the buck with this one as opposed to the 2022. So I really can't find a whole lot of room for improvement on this thing other than, I mean, interior quality could be a little bit better, less hard plastics, but then of course they would have to raise the price. And I like where the price points at as well. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of the Sportage in the comment section below. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.